Hey Bazaar Marketers, it's Tim Summers from Bazaar Marketing doing a quick live for you today. I had a customer ask me what options there are if they don't have PowerPoint to make a presentation that they have to do for their business. And um, I told them right away that you know Canva is a free tool and they've got a great presentation template and several templates that you can jump on throw together a great presentation that would take you hours on PowerPoint, which I'm a huge fan of PowerPoint. Definitely has some bells and whistles and things that you're not gonna find here in Canva, but boy, it does, you know, does the uh, person that doesn't know how to do PowerPoint or doesn't have PowerPoint some justice in using this free software Canva. So I'm gonna jump over to my screen real quick and uh, just go through, um, here I am in Canva, if you, Go to the um, all the different uh, sections here. Look at social media, all the different ones. So you're gonna find the presentation one. And then, if you're in the templates, they have templates, all kinds of templates. So I'm gonna see if I can find a pizza one. I actually didn't look for this for the customer. Let's get rid of this. Let's see if they have pizza. They do not. I know I've seen some food ones before. Let me see. Donuts. Oop, didn't spell donut right. All right. Let's see what they have in the food. Restaurant. Ah, here it is. Because they, they have a restaurant. So this is actually perfect. So it's not a pizzeria, but I was just going to use that. So, all right. So I found that one. I like the colors. You know, and you can change the colors to match your logo. It has 25 different pages, and you might find, man, I don't need 25, I only need 12. But you just go ahead and load all 25, and it's already populated with images, and it just gives you a basic layout, and then you pop in your own information in there. So, I mean, to me, this, you know, it would take you forever to try to do this on PowerPoint. And so, all right, let's just go in here and play a little bit. So if you wanted to change all the colors from, you know, say from this purple or, you know, whatever color this is, we have to go in here and ungroup. I'm going to grab this color. And if you go up to here, this shows you the document colors. There's the two colors there. So you can go ahead and click on that and let's change it to the bizarre teal. So that should change it throughout. I'm sorry. I have to, how do we get over there? Sorry. Really, I know what I'm doing. I just did this. There's a way to change the entire document. Grab that, grab the color. Ah, here we go. That's what we do. So we're going to try to get the bizarre color, which I don't know the number off the top of my head, but let's get it close. So there we go. So now that's a document color. So now you can go in here and select anything that's got that color. Go to the document and change it. Just that easy. Now we want to make the text black. So it makes it real simple. Once you set the document, then you can go in there and change, you know, change the colors to, you know, whatever you want it to be. And let's say, you know, pizza is not our thing, it's donuts. So this is actually a background here. So if we delete that, and now we want to put in, let's go to pizza because that's my favorite customers are pizzerias. So now I'm going to drop that in as the background. Uh, it's on the wrong side, so let's say we're done here, but we'll flip it. And we can get it bigger now. So now you see this uh, color of this text definitely is not working, but it just makes it so easy when you go in there, you can bold the text, do that. So now you can go just on each one of these if you only want, you know, it's got 25 pages, but you don't want that many, you just start deleting them as you will. And 
this is where PowerPoint has the animation. You can do you know the different transitions in that. This has got an animated feature as well, so you can do things like this where it you know does that with the text. It fades it in, it tumbles it. You can do a stop, and it'll turn this into a nice little presentation where you can make this you know apply to every page. So let's go to the different page here. So each one does it. So lots of different quick, you know, to try to go through and do all this in PowerPoint, it's a lot harder than when you just go in here and you can make some simple changes and, you know, I have to ungroup these that are bigger. Change it to be your colors, change that to black. And then we go to the animate. So that makes it you know, super fast, super easy. So then you go down to your presentation here. So you can do standard, you can do autoplay, and then presenter view. So let's go to presenter view. Oops, I don't want it at full screen, but. So this is what it would look like presenter view. So you could do it this way and change. You can hit your, you know, your tab and go. I've just got it smaller on the table here, but and usually on a presenter view, you can see what the next uh, slide is coming up. So that just makes it real easy to go, okay, I know what's coming up next. Let's get out of presenter's view. And do autoplay. Five seconds per slide. So if you're doing a talk, it obviously isn't going to work that way. You're going to want to do the standard and go to present. So now they're all there, and then you can hit, you know, the space bar goes to the next slide. If you have one of those little clickers, you can click and go to the next slide. And um, you know, you got these little tabs too, where that can take you to the next slide. So super, super easy. Let's uh, do escape to get out of here. So it's just, you know, one of those tools that I'm just such a fan of Canva, and. There's a paid version, there's a freed version. We use the paid version, obviously, but if you are doing quick presentations, if you have to put together your social media posts, um, you just can go in here and pick social media. You got your Instagram stories, and there are templates. You know, you go to templates, and here's all these different templates. Um, you can put in, you know, the beach. Let's see what comes up for the beach. And if you're a travel agency or something like that, and then you've got this quick, easy, put in there, add your logo, and you're off to the races. So um, I hope you found this uh, video helpful. If you have any questions on Canva, we use this tool every single day to per put together um, you know, social media for our clients' videos. You can do animated um, videos and all kinds of different things. You can upload your own pictures, upload your own videos. So. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this today, and uh, if you have any questions, again, please drop them in the comments below. It's Tim from Bizarre Marketing. I hope you have a great rest of the day.